this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. So thank you so much for joining us on this live show as we are talking about antibiotic resistance. Now you're welcome to give us a call or a comment on 0839133728. Our expert is with us in studio this morning. Give us some insights and also some help. How much in trouble are we really? And before the break, we asked that question. In terms of antibiotic resistance globally, where are we now compared to 10, 20, and even 30 years ago? Well, Dr. Angela Dramoski is with us in studio this morning. Doctor, to answer that question, I mean, are we in trouble? Yes, we are. Um, the situation is far worse than it was 10 to 30 years ago. Um, antibiotics were first discovered in the 1940s, and at that time people thought it was a miracle, infectious mm. diseases would be conquered, but little did they know, seven decades later, we might be losing all available antibiotics and be back to an age where it's difficult to treat even a simple infection. I, I want to touch on this because surely there are other solutions other than antibiotics out there. Sure. So, so what the individual can do is to make sure that their health is good, to vaccinate fully. I can't stress that enough. So especially even the flu vaccine, getting right. it every year will reduce antibiotics used for viral bronchitis and the incorrect reasons. Such a controversial mm -hmm. topic because earlier, Dr. and I were also talking about vaccinations within children. Mm -hmm. And I know that this is something that's been discussed on the show before. Mm -hmm. But again, we touch on it here again. Vaccinations, even within sure. adults, will help us not to take as much antibiotics? Sure, true. That's absolutely true. The other thing that you can do that's very practical and simple is wash your hands. It ah. sounds so simple, but most infections are transmitted on our hands. Um, and lastly, practice safe food preparation and good food hygiene so you avoid foodborne illnesses as well. It's a little things that around the home, mm. I'm just thinking now how practical this mm. could be to save our life and even our world. Doctor, which communities are most affected by antibiotic resistance? So, Ilana, anybody can be affected by antibiotic resistance. It touches people of all ages from any country in the world. But we know that developing countries are particularly in trouble. They haven't had access to powerful antibiotics until recently, and now we're increasingly using them. And South Africa has a very high consumption rate of antibiotics if you compare us mm. to other countries around the world. We're talking about it now, and this is creating awareness. So all of a sudden we go, ah, there's antibiotic resistance, something that I didn't know until a week ago when I knew that this topic would be on the show this morning. What is being done to combat antibiotic resistance? So I think it's, it's got a very high profile, and the public are becoming increasingly aware. There have been important statements from presidents like Barack Obama, the Prime Minister David Cameron in the UK, have thrown their weight behind this cause. And now the World Health Organization is convening a group of countries around the world to actually put in place measures to protect the antibiotics that we still have left. Mm. Well, if you want to contribute to this conversation this morning, Dr. Angela is here to take your call, 0839133728. If you've got a question or comment, I can't help but smiling about the vaccinations coming, but you heard it, practical solutions there. Things like washing your hands, keeping mm. safe food preparation. I can't stress it enough. I mean, mm. how many times have we been in a restaurant situation sure. or maybe at home? where it wasn't done properly and you get ill. Absolutely. And even flu vaccine? Yes, I do have it. To, I have to um, uh, confess, I had a flu vaccine in the week because my baby had a one-year jabs. Right. So I wanted to show her that I'm doing it. Good. So you have to do it too. But anyway, this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We're waiting for your calls this morning. 083 913